I can feel it. <laughs> Does it feel good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're at the Venetian Las Vegas. Let's go see what there is to eat. Grand Canal Shops. This is the Grand Canal Shops food court. Now this Splash Fresca bar was Gus and Dean's ice cream. That's right. It used to be an ice cream, ice cream shop. Place. Right. Now it's Fresca drinks. You can get them. Looks like you can get them with a shot so or just like Agua Frescas. Yeah. There you go. There's your different options: the rum and the vodka. Mm -hmm. And looks like the Agua Frescas are non-alcoholic, and they can add shots to them, which is all right. Pretty nice. Yeah. There's Prime Burgers. This is also a sit-down sort of restaurant with boutique burgers, crafted fries, and spirits. Lots of little gift kiosks with knickknacks and light up things. And the travel store. And if you need extra luggage, I guess you can get that here. See, here's a tapas bar, but there's also the shoes kebab tapas over here. Oh, so you yeah, get tapas Casa. into your right. Yeah. So the Casanova Seafood, the main uh -huh. sit down restaurant, is over here, but you get the tapas over there at that bar. Pasta. All sorts of, yeah, so you can get Italian food here, but this is not in the food court anymore. Yeah, it's definitely nicer than getting just like pizza to go. You have a nice sit down experience there. And lobster. this is lobster me. This is the famous lobster rolls. They got cold rolls, hot rolls, salads, everything with lobster. And here's another Italian restaurant, Tartoria Reggiano. Lovely white tablecloths and more Italian food. Mm -hmm. Here to the left is Cañonita, the Mexican food. Yeah, so we got the restaurant here, Mexican City Soul Food, it says on the sign. They have a brunch and they've got a food truck or something yeah. there, like a bar. I guess that's a bar. Oh, they have tacos. They have oh, tacos. Yeah, so like tacos, here. street food, you can just pick up right here at this counter. You get tacos, street food with nachos, salad, burritos, even breakfast. Yeah, if you breakfast, like to get some breakfast burrito. to go, that sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. And I like that this has a view of the. Oh, yeah, you can see the whole canal over here. Yeah. We can find our way around. Yeah, if you get seated over here at Canyonita, right. yeah. you can actually get a view of the, the gondolas in the canal. There's one way down there. Gallery, signature galleries, if you want to buy some art. Mm -hmm. There's a scent place if you want to smell beautiful. <laughs> there's the, these are the secret elevators to the Canyon Ranch. Oh, right, there's right behind those ladies is the secret elevator to the Canyon Ranch Spa. Mm -hmm. And they have a little eatery there that's actually quite nice if you want that healthy frou frou food. Yes, <laughs> it is good. It's very yeah, good. it is good actually. It's we did good. eat there years ago. Yes. And here's another wall of something Karma opening luck. soon. Join the Karma and Luck family. Karma and Luck. You need a lot of good karma and good luck here in Las Vegas. Yeah, so here's where you get your, your karma and luck from this, <laughs> but you can't get it yet. It's coming soon. There's a Fat Tuesday across the way over there for your drinks, alcoholic drinks. And this is like a jewelry shop, Pandora. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of things here, but what we're coming upon is probably the most famous part of the Venetian right. St. Mark's Square. Yes. This is even where they have these, what they call the living statues. That's what I call them anyway. You can see them kind of barely moving while you, you eat your gelato. And there's lots of restaurants here in St. Mark's Square. There's Mercato della Pescheria over here, which is an Italian seafood restaurant. This has been here for many years. This looks new. This is Zeppola Cafe, this little site. Oh, yes. Here. So this, here's something new. Yeah. Zeppola Cafe. Like sweets, with some Italian sweet treats. I think this might have been that Paris bakery years oh, ago. Oh. But this now is Ooh. Zeppola. Ooh, look at these sandwiches. Yeah. And look at these brioche 
cor and the croissant. These look so Hi. good. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Thank you? And there's cannolis, fruit tarts, tiramisu, calling Kelly stamps, <laughs> cheesecake and par face, <laughs> and of course a coffee bar. Oh, this is cool. You can. A cannoli bar. Oh, a cannoli can, bar. That sounds delicious. That sounds so good. You can good. fill, this has decoration only, so don't try to eat these. No. But you, you can definitely get yours custom filled. That's exciting. That's really good. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll come back after we've made the full tour here to see what there is to yes. eat. And I see over there the Sloan's homemade ice cream. We were there on opening day a yeah. couple years ago. And this Brera Osteria, we actually ate here when it was a different restaurant. But it was still an Italian pizza type restaurant. And it was great. And now it's called Brera mm -hmm. Osteria. Mm -hmm. It's Canaletto. Yes, another Italian restaurant. Canaletto. This one's been here a long time too. Very popular. Mm -hmm. Lots of Italian restaurants here at the Venetian. That I would have to say there's probably more Italian restaurants at the Venetian than any casino in Las Vegas. That's true. And you have a lot of different price points. You can get something casual or something finer, nicer, like this, that kind of let up. And there's lots of luxury goods here yes. too. Fancy sunglasses. Oh, down over here is Buddy V's Restaurante down that hallway. You have to go down that hallway. Right. But we're almost at the end, so we'll circle back. Yeah. This is the line for the gondolas. Yeah. There's quite a line for the gondolas. That can be you, right there in the gondola. <laughs> but you have to wait in line. I don't even see it, but there's money floating right there. A loan bill. And there's actually money all over this, there is all lot, over the bottom. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of bills at the bottom, change. So now you know, if you didn't already, Vegas is the place to go to throw away your money. <laughs> all right, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, here's the reservations for the gondola. You can go in here and just get what your, you know, your time is set for your reservation, for your gondola ride. I'd recommend doing that. Reservations are always important in Las Vegas because it can get quite crowded. This is a very pretty view from here. So this is the overlook before the entrance to the Palazzo down there, mm -hmm. the sister mm -hmm. casino. And there's more to eat up here on this level. You can actually see Sushi Samba, mm -hmm. the sign for that down there. Also Flight Club Social Darts. That's something new that we can check out. Oh, and look, down there's an way. escape room up on the third level. They didn't have much of anything on this third level for many, many yeah, years yeah. here. All right, let's go down this way yeah. and we'll see what there is to eat on this level further down at the Venetian. Yeah, there's lots of shopping in this side of the Grand Canal shops. This tells us what we're coming across. That's right, the X-Pot, Kama Ultra Karaoke, that's all down this way. It's just really kind of on the Palazzo side. Yeah. Because the Grand Canal shops kind of are the second level above all of the both casinos, the mm -hmm. Venetian and the Palazzo. Mm -hmm. So now we're actually headed down. We're kind of getting ready to be over the Palazzo. Like, there's that Miner's Gems and where we already saw. It's like there's a brewery, ah. trustworthy brewing company, happy hour, we even have ski 50 ball. percent off, and ski ball. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, this could be like a whole little, little separate party <laughs> it's just here. Like, it's like, Okay, it's random ski ball. All right, swag and ski ball. Okay. Ah, it's my favorite and yours. Bauman's ah, rare yes, Bauman's rare books. Uh, a bit of a novelty place here because it's yeah. it's so unlike the other places. But it is, you know, I guess you could say kind of like high end because these are very expensive, rare books. You can yeah. just see inside. It looks like a an, a library, like an old library. Mm -hmm. And you can get your your autographed signed books. They're not too expensive. This one is seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. Sure. You know, for the Venetian for Vegas. You know, 
Is that a, that's more than this signed Elizabeth Taylor book. $4,500. If you're an Elizabeth Taylor fan, there it is. Oh, here we have MASH. Uh, okay. All right, and these are running $1,250. This one right here, The Case of Sergeant Grisha, $900. Who knew books were getting so expensive these days <laughs> along with everything else? This is the Man Cave. The Man Cave, the man yeah. Inside. So you can buy all manly things in here. Yeah. Like pictures of... Yeah, and there's a robot. You can see the robot. I to come and say hi. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you guys are on all the buffets. You save me money and cost me money. I know. Same for ourselves, right? What's your name? Derek and Catherine. Derek. Derek, 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 Derek. So welcome to my store. Just to show you kind of like how serious we are on some of this stuff. I have an authentically signed Pele jersey. Awesome. A Gonzalez. Then I have something really cool like this. So this is kind of, it changes all the time, Derek. But here's a Mick Jagger and Keith Richards print that is signed. What's the Back to the Future one? Is that? Now that, that, that one is not signed. Okay. okay. Well, frequently, I will get uh, the exact same thing that's signed by Chris Point. Uh -huh. This one just happens not to be. Mm -hmm. Not to be is about five fifty, signed by Chris Point about sixteen hundred. So it's a prop plate it's from a prop plate. Yes, from the movie. Okay, and then yes, tell me about Evil Knievel. Oh, that's from his uh, jump uh, over. People don't even. A lot of people think that's Bellagio. Right, that's Caesar's yeah, Palace. Caesar's, yeah. Caesar's, yeah. That's Caesar's Palace yeah. back in the day, Rick. Yeah. yeah. I gotta show you what now you guys are in. I hope you don't think I'm showboating. Stuff, <laughs> no, okay. But I'm very proud of my stuff. <laughs> this little thing is this is overhead bag compliant. Oh, like a carry on right, right. size. This is a carry on bag that when it's out, you just hop on it like this, check it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> yeah. That's really and fun. It's super maneuverable too, but that's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fast. And it is check fast. This out. If you push both buttons down, you go in reverse. You got reverse on this guy. Wow. wow. Derek, if you want to try it, be my guest, or you can. <laughs> you want to try? try? I'll it. try it. It's so much fun. Okay. This side, on the left side, where you see the zippers, that's where you put your storage stuff in. So okay. You just open it up. So to go forward. Forward is just the both first of these? one. Okay, the first and one. And if you want to break, slow down a little bit. You on this can one. Just do okay. It. But forward here, you go down. Oh, down. Okay. And, and lean into the turn and go slow first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> go slow at first. Okay. Got it. Okay. Getting the hang of it. We have the famous Las Vegas guest. This is Derek from All You Can Eat Vegas. All You Can Vegas. All You Can Vegas. Yeah. yeah. He has a, a wonderful YouTube uh, site. Okay, now I'm just coasting. Okay. And I'm stopping. Look at that. I got a hang of it. Once I got the curve, I just kind of let it go. Okay. And his lovely wife. Right? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, cool. That was fun. Isn't that cool? That was really fun. We do a lot. We're very, very big on massage chairs. Okay. So we have our entry level chairs here. And there's more chairs back here. And then I have six over here. These are Osaki designed in Japan. Sit in the chair and enjoy. Okay, it. you want to hold that? Yeah. Okay. Which one will you sit in? Try this, this one. You do want to take your shoes off because it's going to rub your feet. Oh, Great. Okay. <laughs> If your feet are short, and catch this too, you put your feet in there, and now you slide your arms into here. Okay. Oh. Now this is, it, it massages your arms and your hands. You sure now, this look, is safe? Right, right in here. Oh, in here? Oh, there. Oh. I think this is a trap. <laughs> and the, do the, the feet only go way you can get out of here is give me your credit card to buy okay. it. <laughs> do the feet go in a feet little go more? In. Oh, all oh, all the way. Okay, oh. gotcha. So you can have quick controls here. Uh -huh. Okay. Here is where you can do your minute adjustments. If you had your phone here, you could dial into your Led Zeppelin, your relaxation tapes, whatever you like, <laughs> sure. and do it. Okay. okay. All Just right. Letting you know. We got you on the demo mode. Ooh, you oh. are good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I feel. It lasts about fifteen minutes. If you want to come out ahead of time, I'm just going to go up to the front real quick. Okay. And just yeah. let me know, oh. and we'll do it. Oh, I feel. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what uh, do you feel? Ah, I feel all over. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. It's an amazing chair. Wow. Seriously. 
like the pad says shoulder scanning, so it must be massaging your upper body and so your shoulder. What shoulder scanning does. Oh, what's that? Is this thing is measuring each individual's body, where their shoulders start, where their neck oh. is, where their feet are. Okay. It does that for about two minutes. Okay. Then it custom tailors the length of the massage to that person. Oh. So if you're a little bit shorter or yeah. taller, yeah. you can get in the chair after and it will well, do that for you. It'll customize. So you, yes, it'll wow. customize your massage experience. Look at him. He's, <laughs> he's in some heaven you? over here. <laughs> this is like having a real person massage you. That's what people say. Oh. It's like a human touch. Human touch is a trademark name for a massage company. Wait, you're going back even more. It's just, wow. it's just adjusting to... You can see that... Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's hitting your upper, your neck and your upper back, your shoulders. I can feel it. <laughs> Does it feel good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look like you're in heaven with this. <laughs> so you've got your calves. It's probably getting your thighs. Oh, yeah, and it's getting my back and yeah. my neck and my arms, and it's all just... It's all kind of happening at once in waves. Wow. So you have like multiple people massaging you right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I feel like you relaunched into space. <laughs> it's what it feels like. Is it kind of relaxing where you would fall asleep? Uh -huh. or? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just getting ready to sleep for the rest of this video. All right. So. <laughs> oh, really cool. That's a trip. Now this one is $15,000 yes. on yes. their website. It's very tempting. This is very, very you, nice. You looked very, very, very happy. <laughs> yeah. You should have seen it. You'll like, see it. You'll yeah. see it. You're, you're <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you looked very, very happy with this chair. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to pour you out of that chair. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> okay. All right. So this, if you want privacy, you can also pull this down. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna look at you first. Okay. And we're gonna do master's choice. Oh, I'm That's totally secured in. I, I can't I can't move at all. Like this is it's like pressing <laughs> down. It's like it feels like hands pressing down on my shoulders. That's why. Yeah. Like it and really. Then, and now it's gonna start doing that. Okay. When it comes up, then it'll back off on that. Yeah. It'll, and then it'll go back to it. Yeah. Okay. I can feel. Oh. Oh. Okay. My feet. The bottoms of my feet. The shoulder things are going up. It's like, you're right. It feels like multiple people are massaging you at the yeah, same time. Because yeah. I have my feet, my calves. Wow. I'm like, like, wow. Oh <laughs> it feels great, by the way. This feels so good. It, I can feel like my hands. Like, okay, now it's doing like a shiatsu pummeling my lower back. It's massage. Okay, now my legs are being lowered. And it massaged like one arm at a time, but I'm being lowered, like I'm coming back from space. Oh, the arm, the shoulder things are coming back down. It's like secure me into the space here. Okay, I'm fully compressed. Wow, fully compressed in. Okay. Oh, wow, it totally feels like hands and very strong thumbs are massaging. Yeah, it came back down. It's a. Like, Oh, it, total, it feels like hands. It feels like very strong hands massaging my shoulders. So there's 20 airbags in each hand. That is what gives you that effect. So it's very subtle, like a human. Yeah. It's not killing you, not beating you up. It feels so good. What if we got matching chairs? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, well, that was something else. Wow. The man cave. Definitely a must visit here in Las Vegas. That was Woo. intense in a very good way. That was great. I feel very lucky, very, very fortunate, very grateful. Thank you. It was very sweet. Uh, How do you feel? Hungry. Yeah, that, me too. <laughs> this is the X pot. This is like a hot pot restaurant. And it's well, just yeah, the robots next to, delivering. yeah, that's right. The robot servers bring you your hot pot meats. Mm -hmm. And it's right here by Sushi Samba, which is sushi. We've eaten here. And this is actually Villa Azure. This is a brand new place here. And you can see it's it looks like some kind of fine dining in there. Oh, it's Can't very really nice see. Inside. It's big. Yeah, it's a big space. really big space. 
It's beautiful. So let's see if there's a yes. menu or something. Mm -hmm. Villa Azure. Can I just take a look at a menu? Thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at what they yeah. got here. Let's go here. Oh, see, we have these two pages. We have some starters tuna, burrata, grilled octopus, hamachi crudo, brion croute. We have salads. We have a meze plate. Yeah. Looks like the specialties here. We have some fresh pasta. It sounds great. They had a 40 ounce prime tomahawk steak for $325. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we have the 8 ounce prime beef tenderloin. Yeah, that's just $88. Yeah. So it looks like uh, you can get you can a get whole, whole Branzino for $55. Mm -hmm. You can get a 10 ounce Wagyu, Australian Wagyu strip steak for $150. Or half roasted chicken for $38. So that looks like some good fancy food. Mm -hmm. Put this back here. She just stepped away. Let's put this All here for her. All right. And there's Grimaldi's, Grimaldi's. <laughs> Pizzeria, classic pizza. Probably not like $300, That's but. Okay. Okay. No. And here's the darts place where you can go gather with friends. Fight, flight, flight club, social darts. Right here where you can see there's people playing darts mm -hmm. and drinking. <laughs> As you do when you play As darts. one does when they're playing with darts. All right, and then down here is the, ele the escalators down to the Palazzo, where we're going to eat. Yes. Oh, this isn't, we haven't seen this yet. This is the Mizan, and that's the yes. former Moon Palace. So right down here, the former Moon Palace Sliders is now Mediterranean street food. Mm -hmm. We have Mizanon on the right. Yes. But I, I thought that was the menu, but it's just a recipe for whole roasted cauliflower. All right. And I guess you could, there's several layers of seating here. You can sit here or over there. And then there's like a secret room here. Right. This would be a secret room when it was... Yeah. This was a secret room when it was Moon Palace, and now it's open. Very cozy. And then right across here is Ha Salon. Salon. Mm. I don't know where the front door is for that. It's right here. It's right here. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. There you go. Dinner. From Israeli chef Eyal Shani. We'll probably open it. You can kind of see inside there what's going on before opening hours. Mm -hmm. Did I say that we try this place? Yeah. Pita is like pita and meat. I, yeah. Oh, here's the menu, maybe menu over here. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Let's take a close order. up look of what's on the menu here. Here we go. You get in a pita. Uh, the, uh, the music's too loud here. I'm going to have to. Go away. <laughs> What's that? The music. Right. Yeah. We're gonna get this whole video demonetized if we don't stay far away from the music. <laughs> yeah. So. If it, love you, Rihanna, but we can't stay right there. No. <laughs> all right. So we're not gonna be eating there after all. The music is just gonna be too loud. Yeah. Unfortunately. Now we are on the lower level of the Grand Canal shops. You can see we were upstairs, all right up there earlier, overlooking this area with the love sign. And now we are around the back side here with the Saint Germain Cafe where they've got, you know, some uh, muffins and coffees and things. But check this out. Yeah. Donutique. This yeah. is definitely something new. Like a boutique, a donut boutique. Yeah. Wow. Let's. Oh, it smells good. You smell that? Oh, it smells super good. Oh. oh. It's like a, a, a caramelly flavor yeah, very or caramel something like that. Ooh, it smells really nice. Wow. Oh, and look at this. Oh, look at beautiful. this birthday cake one. Has a little piece of cake on it. Oh my God, that's cute. It's yeah. A little cake on the donut. Oh, oh and look cute. at this maple bacon bar. That kind of smells like that. It smells like maple. Very maple. And very maple. Caramel and, and, and baked yeah. goods. This is truffle honey with some honey honeycomb. Tweed. Yeah. 
They got a lot of stuff in here. Look at that. Look at these cookies. Wow. And they don't even have like little bonbons. Look at those very small mini macarons back there. Look how aesthetic it is in here with all the this this artwork on the wall and the tables with these dried flowers and it's just I mean this this is pretty pretty aesthetic for all you aesthetic yeah. girls out there. This is must be very new. This is very new, it's very pretty. Donutique. Unfortunately there's a lot of music in there too. So we're gonna see if we can walk somewhere that doesn't have too much music and we can enjoy our lunch. We might just have to walk back to the food court. We might. But let's let's keep walking down here. This is Restaurant Row. Mm -hmm. This is where all the fine dining restaurants here at the Venetian. This is Delmonico, mm. Emeril Lagasse's Delmonico Steakhouse. We ate here and it's amazing. We loved it. it was so good. Had some table Wonderful side Milo. service that was awesome. There's Milos, Estiatorio Milos. Yes. Delicious. Estiatorio Milos Seafood Restaurant here on your right side. And then uh, the Mateo's Italian restaurant on this side. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I, a lot of these are not open because they're only open for dinner. There's Milos and you can see way back there, they got like the, uh, the seafood on ice, the fresh fish. And then yeah. over here at Mateo's, this is open for, for lunch. Mateo's. And this is Italian food, another Italian restaurant here at the Venetian. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, Homemade pasta. This is what's really intriguing to me. The handkerchief pasta, the agnolotti. All right, it's disappeared. So, really fast. Okay. All right, let's keep moving then. I imagine Milos opens at five for dinner. Yeah, most of these restaurants all, I believe, tend to open at five if they're not open already. But some are right over here, like Sugar Cane. This one is open at for lunch right now. I can see people dining inside. And this is this is like a raw bar. And they even have a brunch every day from opening until 4 p.m. it says here. And you can see inside, it's quite a vibe in there as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And right across is Yard Bird Southern Table and Bar. And this is where we've gotten some pretty amazing fried chicken. We got chicken and waffles. Can you see that? Chicken and waffles. Rotisserie chicken, the Welland's fine fried chicken. Or the whole bird. You can get a whole bird here for $76. That's fried chicken in Las Vegas. <laughs> but it is really good chicken, so. Dark, I'd say it's worth it. It's very dark in there, though. It's hard to film in there. Here's the entrance over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the main entrance right here. You can kind of see Yard Bird. There's even bar seating here if you just want to eat at the bar. And then we're back. Oh, it's Chica. That's right. Oh, yeah, Chica is right here. We've eaten here too, and it's mm -hmm. also really great. Mm -hmm. Really, really great restaurants here at the yeah. Venetian. Everywhere we've eaten has been amazing. Yeah. A little dark in there. It's also dark in there. And I'm sure the music is probably extremely loud. And then just around the corner down there, I don't want to film too much in the casino, but just around the corner down there is uh, uh, the, the uh, Asian noodle for some oh, really great okay. uh, Cantonese right. Chinese food. Right. All right. This is Asia noodle right here. You can see our noodle Asia. It's got all your classic Cantonese mm -hmm. foods, noodles, mostly. That's why it's called noodle Asia. And just right over there is Black Tap. That's the place with the crazy milkshakes and burgers. Oh, this is new. It's just a sports book. And there's like a sports wow. book and bar right over here. Let's see what's going on at Black Tap. There's a line for days at Black Town. Yeah, not too many people here. I suspect here at the Venetian today, there's not a lot of people as normal because they just started charging for parking here at the Venetian. So they got burgers, wings, steakhouse burger, chicken sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, and crazy shakes. That's what they're most famous for. Yes. The crazy shakes. And these crazy shakes will run you about 
17 to 19 bucks. Wow, but that's so different looking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly what we should eat. All I know is I'm really hungry. I'm super relaxed after all of that <laughs> massaging. Yeah. It almost makes me not hungry because I'm like, it's so relaxing. I can't even think about anything except how relaxed I am. <laughs> but I guess we'll just have to go back to the, uh, the food court. We can buy out here. All right, this way is actually the escalators and pedestrian bridge that take you outside to the strip, but it also will take us up to Buddy V's. So let's see what's going on at Buddy V's Italian restaurant. This is nice, so you don't have to go all the way through the casino again. You're yeah. right here on this end of it. Yeah, this is a big casino. This it's is very big. One of the biggest. Mm. It's quite big. It's a quiet. And I think they, somewhere around here, they used to have the Bouchon bakeries. Yeah, the little Bouchon kiosk. Yeah, Outpost they had several right of them, and yeah. I'm not sure. It was right there. It was, that's what I was thinking, right it was right here, the but little, it's not the there anymore. Oh, the Bouchon bakery kiosk was right there. Oh yeah, let's go this way because we can find the Buddy V's in this direction. All right, here we go. Here's Buddy V's and we're back inside the Grand Canal shops. Right here is the Oak Room at Rock House, and Rock House is the, the main restaurant here. Mm -hmm. Just like Buddy V's is the main restaurant here, but you also have Carlo's Bake Shop right here. But it smells good in here too. Lobster tails. No lobster, lobster in these lobster tails. Just, just look like lobster tails. And cannoli bundle. Let's see what else they got? Hearts. Lobster tail. Not the tiramisu cake. That tiramisu cake looks so oh. good, right? Oh, that's interesting. There's a lot of tiramisu-type products here at the Venetian. I am intrigued by the tiramisu cake. Look at this Nutella Danish. I like a creme brulee pastry pocket. Like oh, a yeah, pocket. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. That looks so good, too. God, I'm so intriguing. hungry. I, I really am. I'm just hungry. Now we're both hungry. I'm, I'm more hungry than relaxed now, but I am still very relaxed. Yes. Unless you can see it being everything being made back here, mm -hmm. actually, you can see how they're making everything by hand. And there you go. Mm -hmm. This is Carlo's Bake Shop mm -hmm. here at the Venetian, right across from Buddy V's great. Italian restaurant. But there's a menu for the Oak Room on the side. It's more burgers. Oh and yeah. Stuff. Oh yeah. for Rock for Rock, Rock House. Rock Let's House. take a look at the menu here. Oh yeah. So they also have burgers. I suspect a place called Rock House might be, might be loud, but what is the sound level in here? It's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be more. You can still hear music. Hi. I just wanted to see how loud the music was in there because when I'm filming, I, my YouTube video it gets demonetized if it's too loud where I'm filming. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty loud in like three of our rooms. But... Yeah, so I, I can't, I think it might be too loud. Yeah. But Unfortunately. Thank you. It looks good though. Thank you. <laughs> Now, it's not too easy to find a place to film in Las Vegas. That's the thing. It's like there's a lot of places to eat, but if you're you're trying to film for YouTube and the music suddenly just gets really loud. Like right here? Like instantly demonetized. <laughs> it and then there's it, it, oh my god, this is too much. I think it's because we're right by this. All right, we got, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Not the pit bull. Okay. Okay, we're at Sloan's. This is the homemade ice cream place right off of St. Mark's Square. Luxury ice cream, as it says over here. I hear uh -huh. more flavors at the other end. I remember we were here on opening day and it was, yeah, it was chaotic here on opening day. But I remember I, t I had this, this circus ice cream that's blue back there was actually really good. Ooh, circus. But we gotta get some real food. Yeah, okay, we need some go. real food before dessert. 
But this, is, this place is fun and, you know, great for kids of all ages. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just let's just eat here at St. Mark's Square. How about that? Sounds great. Some good food here. There's Brera, Candeleta, Mercado de Pasteria. Let's check out the menu here at Mercato della Pesceria. The prices are very small. You can almost can't see them, but if you look carefully, you can see. You look at, oh, look, more music. <laughs> We do know we enjoyed this place, Brera, when it was six to mil, so let's try it one more time. All right. See if it's still good. We have some wood fire pizzas. Yeah. Pastas. That looks great. Yes. Thank you very much. Enjoy us or we'll be right back. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Let's eat. Please. What are we gonna start with? Because I gotta start eating. Alright, while well, there's a break in the music, I want wanted to tell you that we're probably gonna start with a pizza. We're gonna share our pizza and maybe we'll get some pasta or I don't know. There's a lot to order here, and I really want to tell you about it, but now the music started again, so we'll be back in a second. We just got our bread, our complimentary bread, and olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Mm. This is good bread. Oh, it's our pizza. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This is our margarita pizza here at Brera at the Venetian Las Vegas. That looks good. It looks great. So milky. The sauce is great. It's light, but it's very flavorful. The dough tastes fantastic too. All the good components. This is great. Yeah. It's really good, right? That cheese is so good. It has a really like depth of flavor, like really nice. Right. I love that. That's the first thing I thought too. I thought the cheese had great flavor. There's some, there's some like light herbs on top, some dried herbs. Oh. And, the, and the dough tastes really nice too. It's really light. All right, that pizza was excellent, just as good as before, mm -hmm. and it, we would definitely have it again. Yes. Now we're gonna try this place, Zeppola Cafe. It's right here, right next to Brera. All right. This is where you can get the cannoli. So you get the, you choose one cannoli filling, classic ricotta, or all these flavors. You tell the pistachio, mango, strawberry, pineapple, key lime, chocolate, no, no chiola. I don't know what that is. You know? I don't know, but. Well, anyway, let's. Uh, where do we enter? Here. Uh, here. It doesn't matter. Or which <laughs> side? Okay. Hi. Oh, look at that. That's like some kind cube. of bread. Yes, yeah, the cube croissant. Cube croissants. And there's the rolled croissant, oh, like a yeah. round croissant. Just the regular croissants look amazing. Mm -hmm. I think we want to try. Can we try one of those fill fill your own cannoli over there? Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. All right, I got my latte and your Americano. Yes. Straw? You need to stir or anything? No, I'm yeah. fine. Okay. I know. We got All right, let's, let's go upstairs.
It'd be like we're overlooking the piazza. We got the whole upstairs to ourself. And it overlooks St. Mark's Square. This cannoli, cannolo, looks great. This is pistachio filling with the chip. I'm going to try the chips end first. That looks so good. Pistachio, creamy filling. It reminds you of like a pistachio gelato. Just a really thick custard. Mmm. It's complimented with the chocolate. All right, let's cut into this croissant. I don't think there's anything in it, right? You got a plain, plain, plain croissant. croissant. Ooh, but it's all about the flaky layers. Right. And I do see some layers mm -hmm. here. Let's see how it tastes. Buttery? Buttery. That was the first <laughs> word I was going to say. Mm. It looks buttery. Super buttery. Like? Not like an amazing, you know, outside exterior. It's like, it's fine. And the inside, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's it's an okay croissant. This is what I'm really looking forward to. Let me try mm -hmm. the cannoli. Mm -hmm. Mm. I like that pistachio filling a lot. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think of it? <laughs> it's so good. It mm -hmm. definitely tastes like that pistachio flavor, like pistachio ice cream or something like that. Right. But what I really like is the crunch of the shell. Mm -hmm. It's nice and crunchy, really sturdy. I mean, it's really holding this together. Like, yeah. And it didn't fall all apart. Definitely, I recommend the cannoli. I just never seen a create your own, build your own cannoli bar. Yeah, it's fun. Before. $23. Receipts requested and we pay down here. All right. Now let's see what happens. It's just under three hours. I wonder if it would be more if we just made it. Past. Yeah, I don't know. It was hard to read the parking rates when we drove in. That's true. It was on a flashing sign that kept disappearing. <laughs> yes. Receipt failed. To the payment, payment canceled. canceled. What happened? All right, let's try it again. Okay. <clears throat> Got the ticket, scan it here. Maybe it's like, ah, we're gonna get you for half more than three hours. Receipt, okay. okay. And insert card. Insert down here. Okay. Please wait. Please wait. Remove card, okay. Approved. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, oh, they still give you like an hour. What? Is that that oh, before. we're 6.49? What time is it? It's it's 6.05. Okay. So they give you 45 minutes. Okay, great. Let's get out of here.